When you play the preludes and fugues in A major and A minor as a set, it feels like the energy of the A major fugue spills over past the end of the piece and continues right into the A minor prelude, where it is tamed and ultimately comes to rest. I'm going to play the end of the A major fugue and then continue into the first phrase of the A minor prelude. pieces share the dance-like 9-8 time signature and elements of similar rhythmic and melodic structure. Here's the A major fugue subject again. Here's the theme of the prelude. The 16th notes at the beginning give the broken triads a little push to get them swinging back and forth in groups of three eighth notes. Three of these surges complete a phrase. So this was the first one. In the second one, the theme is in the bass. continues in the lower voice, but this time it's in the alto range. It has also modulated to C major, and uh, that's where the theme appears in the fourth phrase, in the right hand again. Counterpoint to this idea starts out like this. It's not terribly exciting, basically a support of the harmonies. The long note, the trill, the broken triad, and then the pattern repeats. But this is only the raw material, so to speak. In the course of the piece, Bach develops the trill into continuous passage work. It is slightly different in every phrase and generally reminds of the counter subject of the A major fugue. So that was the counter subject. <laughs> At the end of the A major fugue, the passages take over. The subject doesn't even appear anymore in its original form. In a similar way, the passage work takes over the final section of the A minor prelude. In phrases six and seven, it still accompanies the subject, but the subject is reduced to two elements as opposed to three in the beginning, so the energy builds up faster and then the subject is swept away by the counterpoint that is cascading downwards. is a variation of the opening subject in the right hand. 
It has come under the influence of the counterpoint and floats steadily upwards, ending in a major chord. <laughs> It's grounded by a pedal point along sustained notes through note throughout the changing harmonies throughout this whole line. That foreshadows a characteristic element of the A minor fugue, long sustained notes that hold on while the fabric of the other voices moves forward. We have a little bit of this in the prelude as well, in the long notes that interrupt the flow almost with a kind of resistance. They bring an image to mind, a kite floating in the wind, making loops and dives in the air, while the child that holds the string has trouble keeping up with its antics. 